Hey guys, welcome back to Carding with Chris. Today's video is going to be the Summer 1 Rental League race here at Lone Star Kart Park. Now, it's been a very long time since I last posted a video around this track, but we're back and we're ready for some racing content. So we're gonna start with the pre-final here, and for the pre-final, I qualified in P2, but for some reason, they gridded me up in third place. So I guess we're starting third for this race. Not a big deal. We'll have the inside for the start, so that's always good. Uh, but yeah, going into this race, um, there's only one thing that I was concerned about, and that was not having a good cart. LSK is not known for having good carts, so um, you just gotta get lucky. So we're going down the straight here, and I think cart 20 jumped the gun here. Flagman waves green, we're good to go. Um, so he gets a good start. We instantly move up into second, so we follow him into the start. Going to the first corner right here, the door's open, I look for the move, um, and I kind of lock up the rear tires, almost spinning it, so not quite making the move stick. We're still in second place, so we didn't lose any positions going through that corner. Cart number 20 going defensive through the double right-hander, and that's going to ruin his exit going down this mini straight. And So I have the inside for these next couple of right-handers. And going into the left-hander up ahead, I'm going to be enough in front of him to not have to go defensive, and we take the lead. So we're in first place now, gaining two positions at the start. Pretty good job. So we're about to go down the straight here. This is going to be the main straight. This is all full throttle, by the way. And I'm going to kind of look at my engine right here, and I just hear it banging on the rev limiter. So at this point, I feel that my cart is underpowered. It is banging off the rev limiter. Usually, you don't hit the rev limiter that much uh, going down the straight there. So uh, that was a little concerning for me because I know how fast these carts should go in a straight line, and I knew I was not going fast enough. And actually, I was going so slow that those past two corners back there, I really wasn't using the brakes, and as I learned throughout this race, I didn't have to use the brakes for any part of this track. And usually you use the brakes in like two or three places, but in this cart, I was going so slow, I didn't use them at all. Now, fortunately for me, I was able to establish a bit of a gap at the start of the race, and we skip ahead to lap 11 out of 11. I don't know why they gave us 11 laps, they just did. But I was able to lead every lap because the carts behind, although they were faster than me, I think their lap times were near half a second faster than mine, uh, they were fighting throughout the entire race. And if you're new to racing, fighting slows you down. And if you're fighting a lot, it slows you down quite a bit. So a pretty comfortable win. Um, probably shouldn't have won this race, but you know, whenever people are fighting, you'll take it. All right, so we skip ahead to the final race now. We're starting on pole because we won the pre-final. Uh, going into this race, we're gonna hold it on the inside. Uh, very easy to send it up the inside. So you can see right here, gridding up on the far left-hand corner of the track, just making sure no one dives up the inside. Watching the flagman, trying to anticipate the green flag. Flagman waves green and we're good to go. So like I said, hold it narrow. Don't want anyone going up the inside. Uh, we're going to look behind me right here just to see if anyone's close. And there are people there. So we're going to go semi-defensive. Didn't feel like I had to go fully defensive. No need to go fully defensive if you don't have to. Look behind me again. They're not close enough, so I don't go defensive through the second left-hander. So pretty good start. No one sent it up the inside because, you know, we covered it. And we maintain first place. So going into this race, I had cart number 20. And people throughout the pits were saying cart number 20 wasn't the best cart in the world. They said it had no pace, uh, no top end, and didn't turn right. Usually whenever I hear people talk about a cart like that, um, it's kind of hard to trust people because everyone has different driving styles. You don't know if it's a good driver saying that or if it's a bad driver saying that. Uh, but going down the straight here, I'm about to see just how slow this cart is. As we see cart number 23 just pass me like I'm nothing right here. See him pulling away from me. So getting PTSD from the pre-funnel, uh, this cart, as another cart passes me, cart number 19, this cart, like the cart in the pre-final, uh, just would hit the rev limiter so early. And I think I know the answer why. I don't know how these carts work, uh, so I could be wrong. But I think the gearing on this cart was different. Because I felt like the bottom end was decent, but I think it just hit the rev limiter just way too early. And whenever I hit the rev limiter, the other carts would pull away from me. So maybe the gearing is different on this cart. I don't know why the gearing would be different, but it's the only thing I could think of. 
Now fortunately in the pre-final we already had practice with a cart like this not having to use the brakes whatsoever as going down the straight here cart number 19 was actually on my outside I didn't even know he was there uh, so kind of apologizing for that uh, sorry but I, I had no idea you were there uh, you should have went on the inside but right here I'm going defensive uh, I've kind of made up my mind that there's no point in trying to go fast in this cart I just got to try and maybe go defensive so throughout this entire race, I decided we're in second, we're still on the podium, let's just go defensive. Um, and you know, sometimes that's a hard decision to make because there are some carts that aren't worth going defensive in. Uh, I've driven cars that are just so slow that even when you go defensive, people are still gonna pass you. Like you try and hold that narrow line, people are just gonna pass you around the outside. But I feel like around this track, you can defend pretty, pretty easily. Now, unfortunately, whenever doing a defensive race, um, having a GoPro on the front of your helmet, it's kind of hard to see the people behind me, but trust me, they're there. And there's a queue of people there. There's a horde of people trying to pass me. Now, throughout this video, you're gonna see me defending some corners and not defending corners. Like this corner right here, didn't go defensive. Uh, and that's because I didn't have to go defensive. You can see no one you know, challenged my inside. And again, through this left-hander, not having to go defensive. So that's key whenever driving a race like this. You have to have good spatial awareness, know when it's worth defending and when it's not worth defending. Uh, like in the pre-final, the people from behind, they were fighting a little bit. Uh, so that's why I'm not going defensive because they're just not close enough to go for that move. If they did go for that move, it would be a almighty dive bomb and they surely would get a penalty for something like that. So going down the straight here, I did look behind me and I didn't think they were close enough. So not going defensive going into this first corner up ahead. And by the time we reach the line here, I just see cart number 19. He comes out of nowhere. So this is kind of just showing me just how slow my cart is. Like, look at this. He's already multiple cart lengths ahead of me. This is how slow my cart is. Um, now I had cart number 19 in qualifying. That's a quick cart. Um, and I qualified P2 in that cart. So that's a really quick cart. Um, in qualifying, I had the pedals too far forward. In these CRGs, if you have the pedals too far forward, the brake pedal does not work. And trust me, whenever you have a fast cart like that, you need the brakes. So um, top tip for you tall people out there, if you're driving a CRG, don't push the pedals too far forward. You won't have brakes. Uh, but we're in third place now, and I'm keeping tabs on the people from behind, looking behind me, just making sure they're staying behind me because I'm in third and I don't want to go any lower than third because I want to stay on that podium. So going down the straight here, shaking my head in frustration, not happy that I'm having to defend. Uh, I would like to just, you know, pull away, uh, but we can all dream. Having to go defensive into this left-hander right here. Uh, we can see there is someone on our outside poking their nose into frame every once in a while. These two left-handers, this is the second one right here. Those two corners are the best places to pass people um, and so going defensive through those because I don't want anyone passing me uh, the next best place to pass someone is this left-hander up ahead so looking behind me making sure there's no one there to send it up the inside uh, this left-hander you can pass people but it's usually a later move so uh, if they're not already going for the move then usually they don't go for it uh, and then for the rest of this race I'm you're gonna see me turning in early for a lot of corners that's just kind of just preventing people from looking for the move. Um, but you can see right here, not going fully defensive into the first corner. I uh, didn't feel like I had to. The people from behind, they were fighting, like I said. And again, you don't have to go defensive unless you don't have to. Now, another thing to note is that the person on the barriers to our right right there, the person standing on the barriers, that was the race director. So um, he was watching us and making sure that we were not doing anything illegal. Um, so, you know, that didn't really put too much pressure on me, but that being said, if anything happened, he would be there to see it. Now, up ahead, we can see the two in front are fighting quite a bit, and this was good news to me. Um, obviously, still keeping tabs on the people from behind, but if these two people fight more, then maybe I can catch up to them. You can see we're already catching up to them a little here, and if I can get close enough to make a move and pass them, then I can continue to defend and maybe increase my chances of getting a podium. But down the straights there, you see me kind of still frustrated with the cart, kind of trying to get it to scooch along down the straights. Um, but you can see the two in front still going at it, going defensive, attacking each other. And coming out of this left-hander right here, this is as close as I'm going to get to them. Uh, I hate to spoil it for you guys, but cart number 19, he's the guy leading the race right now. Like I said, that cart was rapid. 
And as soon as he got in front of, I think that's cart 23, I think he started to pull away. So this was as close as I got to the leaders right here. I was kind of hoping they would fight a little bit more, but now I need to kind of focus my energy on the people from behind. Because right there, you see me look behind me. I see how close they are, and I was like, you know what? The two in front, they're going to pull away from me. I need to focus on maintaining this third place. I'm still on the podium, bottom step of the podium, but I'm still on the podium. So that's where I want to end up. I feel like I could probably do it. Uh, so going down here, going defensive, but not enough. Cart number 14 squeezing his way through. Uh, he went in a little deep there, so getting the cut back. Going back up into third place here. Uh, but this is kind of worrying me because people are starting to get antsy. Uh, usually whenever someone's defending like this, people tend to get frustrated. And so they start going for like really aggressive moves that maybe they shouldn't quite go for. And it can be kind of stressful on me as the defender because they could easily punt me and kind of ruin my race. Now you're probably asking me, Chris, why are you even bringing this up? Why would you say such a thing? Well, I'll tell you this, if you know what foreshadowing is, I'm about to serve you a platter of foreshadowing with a side of frustration. As going down the straight here, cart number 14, he's gonna nudge his way on the inside right here. So he has the inside, and he just straight up puts me into the wall right here. Um, and you can see I'm clearly not happy with that. Another cart passes me, I think that's cart 12. Try and get the cut back on cart 12, get the inside for this left-hander right here. Cart number 14, he's going defensive. He's going defensive through the double right-hander right here. And so I try and get a better exit. You can see I'm beside him, but his cart was just far superior than mine. And so we move down into fourth, unfortunately. Now, I wasn't too happy with that move. I felt like I deserved a little bit more room than what he gave me. But fortunately, the barriers are movable here. If they weren't movable barriers, I would have definitely been in a lot of pain from that. Um, but yeah, you can see right here, you know, I'm able to keep up with him through the corners, but once I get down the straights, you see he just pulls me, he gaps me, uh, and there's really nothing I can do about it. And then going down into this left-hander up ahead, cart number 24 on my outside, cart number 12 on my inside, getting the cut back on cart number 12 here. Cart 24 had the outside, so he didn't quite make that one work. And I have the inside for this left-hander, so maintaining fourth place right here, just barely. I'm getting swarmed by people here. Like I said at the beginning, there is a queue of people wanting to pass me, and I am being the most annoying person in the world trying to keep them behind me. So almost going down to fifth place there, but barely able to regain fourth. Right here, my cart actually cuts out, um, and I wasn't quite sure why. Uh, later, I asked other people in the pits, other people who were in this race, everyone's carts cut out for just like a second or two. Don't know why, maybe someone accidentally hit a button and it slowed down the carts. Again, going into this left-hander right here, cart number 24 looking for the outside. He actually got a full cart length in front of me and he could have passed me right there, but again, I have the inside for these two left-handers. That's crucial. Uh, you don't want to give up the inside because it's really hard to hold it around the outside through those corners. So. Uh, maintaining fourth place just barely but like I was saying earlier in the drivers meeting they told us that if you get a penalty or a warning they would slow down your cart for like a couple seconds uh, just kind of as a penalty and I thought they were penalizing me for over defending uh, there are some race directors out there who I don't know why but they tend to penalize people for over defending um, so far, I think I've done a pretty clean job of defending. Maybe I've been a little aggressive, but I don't think I've done anything wrong so far. Um, and it was good to hear that the other drivers also were slowed down as well. So I was not the only one who got their cart slowed down. But again, still going defensive through these corners right here. They are behind me. Uh, I don't remember how many people are behind me, but there is more than two people behind me. Um, so just trying my best to keep them there. You can see up ahead, fourth is probably the best I'm going to do at this point. We're on the second to last lap. Um, you can see cart 24 still looking up my inside right there. He's on the inside for this left-hander right here, but I have the inside for the right, then the left again. And so he was not able to pass me going through those corners back there. And so going down the straight here, we see the white flag. I've got one more lap to defend. Usually on the last lap, people tend to go for crazy moves because it's, you know, now or never. Again, going to this left-hander, 
I'm forcing cart 24 around the outside. I want the inside. It's worked for me thus far, and so it's gonna continue to work. Going into the left-hander again, having the inside. Not going defensive through this double right-hander. Didn't feel like I had to. I felt like I had decent bottom end, and so I don't think they were able to really get up close enough to defend through that uh, double right-hander. Going into this left-hander right here, um, I see 24. He's gonna maybe look for the move, so I turn in early, making sure he doesn't. Uh, through these last couple of corners, again, kind of turning in early, making sure they can't poke a nose by. And then going onto the straight right here, there is a cart right behind me. And so it's going to be a drag race to the finish. And you can see him right there, cart number 18, just barely not able to pass me. And we finish in fourth place. So a little bit of a frustrating race right there. I was constantly on the back foot, having to de defend for basically the entire race. Um, and, you know, it's it's not a very good feeling having to always be on the back foot like that. Um, it would have been nice if all the carts were even, so I didn't have to do something like that, but it happens. Uh, but overall, I had a lot of fun. Shout out to all the drivers who were in this race. Um, really good driving. Uh, had a lot of fun, like I said. And yeah, maybe I'll do it again. Who knows? But that's all I'm going to have for today. If you like the video, please consider subscribing. If you have any questions, suggestions, or opinions, please do comment below. Thank you guys for watching and have a good day.